Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have not like and subscribe the channel, please like and subscribe the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use Microsoft 365 Admin Center and how you can create a groups uh, or you can add the Microsoft 365 groups or distribution groups or security groups directly in the cloud. So as you can see, to open this Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you have to type admin.microsoft.com slash admin portal in your Edge web browser and then you have to log in with your credentials right since I have already logged in so you can see here so in the left hand side you see home right and you see the user management so you can see the active users here you can add users here you can create a user templates you can also add multiple users and you can add the multi-factor authentications and you can also delete the users and reset the password so like if you select you can also will get the options to manage roles as well okay so if you want to click add users you just have to give all these informations and then assign the license and then finish it Let's go to groups and uh, you can also create a guest users as well like if you want you can also create a guest users for guest users here will uh, there is a two templates like you can create a new organization new user in your organizations or you can invite the guests to collaborate so you can and the user will be email on invitation they can accept in order to begin collaborating okay so you can give all these informations if you want to create a guest users let's uh, talk about the groups so what is this groups so you see here groups to set up a groups right so that i mean the people can collaborate and work together on files or uh, or any 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 m365 groups distribution list you just want to inform through the mail to sell to the like if you have a multiple members of people one you want to inform at one go you can create a distribution groups security groups is of course it's a one uh, use for the like if you want to grant some access or if you want to enable something then you have to get security groups there is a three option here microsoft 365 groups distribution groups and security groups so security groups is more sensitive distribution groups is like you want to inform any communications m365 groups as i've already mentioned this is uh, if you want to create uh, and if you want to work together on files or anything so you can create a groups you can uh, give name like anything distribution groups or anything microsoft 365 groups so whatever you want to uh, give name click next you can assign the owners like suppose I am owner next and you want to add members if you have I am only member so I am adding myself the group email address you want to put something like that I am putting this one so no later this one this would be public or private I want to make private or let it be public so if you see the difference public groups can be joined by everyone without getting approval so let it be private and private will be you can say it will it will not open for everyone to join the groups and the member have to add manually okay you want to assign roles allow admin roles to be assigned to these groups yes next and just create so this is the I think uh, okay so I don't have the license so but this is how you can create a groups so, so make sure you have the license somehow I don't have license so but this is how you can export it create and same similar like for distribution groups and security groups you can if you have deleted any of these groups it will be shown here for 30 days and after that after 30 days the groups will be deleted okay if you want to explore like what is your products what you want to use copilot right you see here 
you know, what is which product you are using what is the benefit of this one everything all these licenses you want to uh, procure for your devices like I have this uh, Intune licenses you want to purchase some more you can request it from here and you can also auto claim it bill and payment so bill payment everything you will get it from here this is how you can you can also use the user template if you want you can you need to add the template and then you, you need to add the template here for these users and next time when you create the users it will you can manage the template as well this is how uh, microsoft 365 admin portal and how you can create a groups and users and use that i hope being as admin you should know if you are not admin just have a look and see how you can manage the users and group in microsoft 365 admin portal till then thank you have a good day